Uh, hi. I really liked Has Been Hotel, so I watched it for a second time, then I watched it for a third time, and then I... I watched it for the fourth time. It was that amazing. And when I rewatched Has Been Hotel for the third time, I did a video talking about it. Um, I was focused on whether or not it held up because, you know, if you watch a show again, you, knowing everything that could happen, it might not be as interesting. Uh, things that seem pretty interesting or you know, good enough in your first viewing, it cannot hold up sometimes in a second viewing that's happened for stuff. But that wasn't the case. Uh, Has Been Hotel held up extremely well in the third viewing. It was still as good as it had been in the first two viewings. There was no problem there. I kept noticing new stuff, the lines I missed, little details about characters that I missed, and I... And the stuff that I already loved, I still loved. Uh, characters that I really liked was still the same. So everything was great. So uh, watching for a fourth time, you know, could be a risk. I might finally get bored of this show. And I'm not. I still love the show. And I'm still noticing new things I didn't notice before. And I will admit some of it could be just, you, you know, I'm... I'm not as observant in, in certain, as certain things as other people. Uh, kind of the way my mindset goes I sometimes just I don't notice certain things like I might miss the point about like what this character arc is supposed to be who a major character is because so many characters I have to keep track of that happens a lot uh like I could probably watch Game of Thrones you know 20 times so it'll probably still be a couple of characters that'll be like who is this character like well what's this character's purpose because and, and in the case of game of thrones i think that somewhat makes sense because there's so many and has hotel doesn't have that problem but it does have a lot of characters and it does move at a fast pace which is actually part of why i love it and part of why i rewatching it because there's just so much good stuff happening so quickly like they're not wasting time but it's also there's so many clever details and interesting things with the characters that it can be easy to uh lose sight and not notice a lot of things and so something that i did on my fourth watch i was looking for things in the background and there was a lot of interesting things in the background or or things that you know the, that you'll miss if you don't pay close attention like uh characters have like cups that have funny messages on them uh, something i really loved is in the third episode um you know, with Velvet singing, they show these things in the background, and one of these things, I, I didn't notice that Velvet apparently sells, like, popsicles of the Vs, you know, herself and the others, and they have, like, puns that go with their names, and I love the idea of it, of, of them having popsicles, uh, that, that was great, and, like, you know, there's stuff, like, in the background, and funny little stuff, and little character moments, so there's still so much more, I think, left to uncover, so I feel like Hasbro Hotel is one of those shows where there's still stuff to left on cover. Like, there's certain shows that kind of follow a formula. They're a bit more simplistic, and I don't mean to necessarily mock them because it can be extremely entertaining. They're fun, and they can, you know, be rewatched, but you might not necessarily get new information or learn new things about the characters or learn little new details by rewatching it. And you can still enjoy it, but it won't really leave as strong of an impact, really. But with Has Been Hotel, there's so many subtle details and there's so many great things with the characters that even after multiple viewings, I still notice new things and I can appreciate new things while still enjoying and loving the things I already loved about it. And with the different viewings, I get to pay attention to different characters because there's so many great characters, like not just like the main characters, but side characters and then even characters that have smaller roles and there's multiple villains and there's just so much to pay attention to and so many great characters. And with four viewing something I've noticed is that there's not a character that I hate. And when I say that, I know there's characters that are really unlikable. What I mean is like how they're written, how they're portrayed. There's not a character that's like, oh, this character, I, I can't, like, this character's badly written. I don't like this character. This character's an really annoying. There really isn't any of those characters. Like, even characters I thought were maybe a little bit annoying or like, I don't really know what the deal is with this character. Like... At worst, there's like maybe a few side characters and kind of just like, okay, maybe this character's just okay, or 
you know, stuff like that. There's really not really any characters like, oh, this character. And that is something when I rewatch a show, especially a show that has a lot of characters, it's usually like, okay, this character storyline, I don't really like this character. Or maybe I get tired of a few characters. There really isn't that with Hasbun Hotel. Um, like, yeah, I guess... I guess if I had to say, like, I wish Zestiel was in more than one episode this season, but again, he wasn't intended to be a major character. He was great. He was on screen, and it doesn't really hurt the storyline that there's not more done with him, and I don't know if the second season could maybe do more with him, and even if they don't, there's so many great characters that I think the show will still be amazing. Um, so there's really not really any characters that I feel like they're dropping the ball with any characters like oh this character and there are shows that I love of course you know I've talked a lot about Code Geass and but I haven't done a video talk about there's some characters in Code Geass that I don't really like although to be fair Code Geass does have more characters and they did introduce that character that really bothered me named Rolo in the second season so I'm hoping for if has been Hotel uh when they do the second season I'm hoping you know, if they want to introduce new characters, that's great. They can introduce more fan favorites, and that's great. But I hope that whatever new characters they get, I hope they don't add a character. It's like, oh, no, 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 they had such a great cast, a nearly perfect cast, but they threw in, the, you know, a character I don't like. It's like, you know, we don't need a role, though. We don't need a, a character that gets on my nerves. So I'm hoping, I'm very much hoping that Hasbro Hotel doesn't get a Rolo. They, they don't need a Rolo, so please don't do that. Um, so... So far, Hasman Hotel is still amazing.